Elections are well underway, and soon we will know who the new crop of men and women elected to the Congress will be. Undoubtedly, they will be in a state of euphoria, but they don't realize the battle that they face. And this battle is not from the open opposition, but from their own party leadership, especially the Republican Party. The leadership of the Republican Party doesn't like mavericks, independent thinkers, or especially constitutionalists. They will be doing a number of things on the newly elected to bring them under control. So now is the time to contact the people in your district who may have been elected and give them the support they will need to stand up to the wiles of the party leadership and perform as constitutionalists and representatives of the people who elected them, not the powers entrenched in Washington. Leadership within the parties may try to influence the newly elected, sometimes even before they're sworn in. This is done through what's called orientation, a process whereby the newly elected are drawn into the routine of the Congress. For instance, the newly elected members may be offered resumes of potential staff members from Washington. The strategy behind this is to leave at home those who help them get elected so that they can stay to help them get reelected. They then drill into the newly elected the importance of getting reelected so they are distracted from the true job at hand, which is voting constitutionally. Leadership overall wants to retain control over their party. They will do all they can to make sure that the newly elected are not influenced daily by the people from home and that the staff that is trained is loyal to them, the leadership. The newly elected will also quickly realize that leadership encourages being a team player. This plays a major part in getting reelected since it is tied to the ability to raise money. This will give you a better idea of what I mean. Throughout every level of government, there are various committees to work on bills pertinent to that committee's responsibilities. Like everything else, the higher up you are in government, the more control the leadership has over it. Here's how it basically works. Committee assignments are doled out based on loyalty to the leadership and an agreement to raise money for that position. The more important the committee, the more the price goes up. If it entails a chairmanship, the price is astronomical. It should come as no surprise that the leadership determines the chairs of the committees. If America wants to see a change in how our parties work, a movement should be started that the committee elects the chairs rather than the leadership of the party. The newly elected will also have to learn how to read new legislation. If they are not given enough time to read it and determine whether they should vote a bill up or down, they need to demand more time. One congressman told me years ago that he read each bill to see if it was constitutional or not, starting with the title. The minute he encountered an unconstitutional provision, he voted no. He rarely read past the first paragraph. This should be the manner in which all members of Congress deal with their vote. They should also demand that they can offer amendments on the House floor, like they used to do. For instance, Today's spending bills are done through committee, which is controlled by the leadership. It is then given an up or down vote on the House floor. Behind closed doors, new members can give their opinion, but it all comes down to what leadership decides. They have the control. The process must be opened up. New members will not have much of a say about anything except the final vote. People are voting across this nation with the intent that they're sending these newly elected members to make a difference. What is unknown to many is that under the current leadership and rules, it is virtually impossible. Now don't be discouraged. Even though certain processes may be difficult to change, it doesn't mean it can't be done. That is why we need you. The continued pressure is necessary from home to give the representatives the courage to stand up to what has been going on. That is your job. Also, make them aware of the congressional scorecard, letting them know that local communities are seeing how their representatives and senators vote and how much it's costing them 
will grab their attention. This is a fantastic tool that is being used by the grassroots. Go to jbs.org and click on the Freedom Index. There you can download your congressman's voting record as well as your state representatives. Go ahead and reprint them and pass it out around your community. Nothing creates more pressure on the Congress than an informed electorate.